Today you have to see incredible body cam footage. First responders who are rescuing people right there from a burning apartment building inside Gwinnett County. They went door to door making certain everyone got out. Now the fire at the park at Sweetwater Apartments in Duluth. It left 20 people homeless for the holidays. CBS 46's Haley Mason joins us now live. Just incredible to see that in real time, Haley. I just spoke with a man who says police knocked on his door at two o'clock in the morning, telling him to get out. His apartment was on fire. It happened right behind me at the park at Sweetwater Apartments here in Duluth. And we just obtained the body cam footage where police officers went door to door making these dramatic rescues. Let's go. Your apartment's on fire. Come on. Where are your kids? Give me one. Come here. Come on. And that's police. They arrived on scene before the fire department and their body cameras picked up those efforts. You can see officers going door to door, telling people to get out as the apartments around them went up in flames. This all happened on December 1st when a woman came home from work and reported that the mailbox hut was on fire. Well, that mailbox hut was connected to that apartment building. It appears the fire started in a trash can under that hut. The fire department then arrived and began knocking down the fire, but it was already in the attic and the walls. They did stop it from spreading into the actual units, but still 20 people were displaced and eight apartments are now uninhabitable. The fire department has some go, safety tips, especially in the middle of the holidays. Um, make sure that you know where to go in case of fire. Uh, make sure you have an alarm system or a smoke detector that tells you when there's smoke or fire. In fact, smoke alarms should be on every level of our home and in each of the bedrooms. Fortunately, the Red Cross did step in to help with housing or vouchers, whatever these families need. Right now, the fire department says this is not a suspicious fire, but they haven't nailed down the exact cause just yet. Reporting live in Duluth, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.